Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create pipe fitting long radius elbow. In this tutorial, I will use this manufacture specifications. And I will refer this data to create CSV file. This is lookup table, CSV file. Its data are referred from the manufacture specifications. I will use this lookup table, CSV file, to create the parametric family. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select pipe fitting for family category and select elbow for part type. And click OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 100 mm value of pipe size for default. Add a new parameter for nominal radius. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for radius. The formula is diameter divided by 2 and click apply. Add a new parameter for angle. Select angle for type of parameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 45 degrees value of angle for default. Add a new parameter for outer diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 114 mm value for default and click apply. Add a new parameter for outer radius. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for radius. The formula is diameter divided by 2. And click apply. Add a new parameter for center to end. Select instance and click OK. Set 64 mm value for default. And click apply. Set the value of mechanical data. And click apply. Go to manage lookup table. Import the CSV file. Add a new parameter for lookup table. Select text for type and select other for group. Select instance and click OK. Add parameter value for lookup table. The value is CSV name. Click apply. Add formula for outer diameter parameter. And click apply. Add formula for center to end parameter. and click apply and OK. Go to create. Select the reference line. And draw a line from the intersection point to right 45 degrees. Align the edge of line and lock to the reference plane. Insert angle dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to angle. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Select the reference line and mirror to left side. Select the existing reference line. Offset 64 mm and create similar. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to CE. Go to family type. Check and play the angle parameter. Parameter are working. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 64 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to CE. Go to create. Select the sweep. 
sketch path and lock to the reference plane. Align and lock to reference plane and reference line. Go to family type. Check and play the angle parameter. Select the patch and insert angle dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to angle. Select profile and edit profile in 3D view. Draw a circle. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to inner radius. Finish the sweep. Go to family type. Re-add formula for inner radius parameter. Formula is diameter divided by 2. Click apply and OK. Go back to family type. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. Check in 3D view. Go to visibility or graphic override. Shortcut is VG. Uncheck dimension and reference line. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select pipe connector and select fitting for connection system. Place on elbow face. Select pipe connector and associate the diameter to nominal diameter parameter. And angle parameter to angle. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Save the family. Let test the family in the project. Open a new project. Select the mechanical template for testing and open it. Go to system and draw a pipe. Insert and load the created family into project. Select the pipe segment. Go to edit type and add the new elbow. Ok, the creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.